Hi, I'm Asaf Dahan, Director of Threat Research at Palo Alto's Cortex-XDR team. Today I have the pleasure of hosting Lior Rockberger, a senior researcher at the team. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me today. So you recently published a new blog about the Malox uh, ransomware. Uh, what can you tell our viewers about it? So uh, recently we noticed a massive uptick with the activity associated with the Malox ransomware. We actually noticed that there is an increase of almost 174% compared to last year. Thank you. And before we dive into this really interesting uptick, what can you tell us about the group itself? So Malox uh, are operating since uh, July 2021. Uh, and same as other ransomware groups, they are following the double extortion scheme where they uh, steal sensitive information from victims and then threaten to publish it uh, on their tow website. Now, we know that there are probably dozens, if not hundreds, of ransomware groups operating in the ransomware sphere or landscape. What sets Malox apart from the other groups? So Malox is uh, mostly known to uh, exploit unsecure MSSQL servers uh, as a penetration vector to uh, infect targeted uh, environments. In your research, you mentioned uh, the sharp uptick in their activity. Uh, to what do you attribute this, um, this increase in activity? So there could be many explanations for this uh, uptick, but uh, recently we noticed that the group is, is mainly focused on uh, expanding their operation and uh, recruiting affiliates. So this can be a potential explanation for the uptick that we observed. So it's kind of like the classic story of like a small, small operation. They saw that, uh, that they are successful and now they want a bigger chunk of, of the pie. Okay, so they recruit more, more people. So what can you tell our viewers about uh, Cortex-XDR protections against uh, ransomware operations in general and the Malox ransomware in particular? How do we protect against it? So Cortex uses multi-layer protection to uh, face those kind of threats. We have uh, our anti-ransomware uh, module, which knows on, not only to detect and prevent ransomware by its binary, but also to uh, look for the activity that is usually associated with ransomware activities, for example, um, deletion of backups or encrypting the files, and to prevent those type of activities. So it really ties into the whole security and layers paradigm. We look at the entire operation as an attack life cycle, and we try to look at the different stages and provide mitigations for each stage of the attack. Yeah, exactly. That was really interesting, Liora. Before we part ways, what would you like our viewers to take away? What are the main takeaways from this talk? I think the main takeaway um, is to keep in mind that ransomware attacks are here to stay, and we have to be prepared, and we have to know how to protect uh, against those kind of threats. We need to make sure that uh, we use multi-layer protection that knows to protect and uh, detect not only um, ransomers by binary and or by code, but also by behavior, and to know to protect against the activity that is associated with uh, ransomware attacks. That makes a lot of sense. Thank you so much, Lior, for coming. Thank you for having me today. And to you, our viewers, if you'd like to learn more about ransomware operations and specifically the Malox ransomware and how Cortex-XDR can provide protections and mitigations against such attacks, please visit our blog and look for Malox. Thank you so much.